the majority of varieties of lawn we grow in Australia are what we call warm season varieties. Now the upside is they look absolutely fantastic for nine months of the year, green and whatever you do to them, they won't stop growing. The downside is they slow down for the other three months. They look yellow, dull, and I usually refer to them as looking just a little flat. I'm a bit partial to buffalo lawn. I really like the broad leaf and dark colour. Gardening is all about soil, and when it comes to growing lawns, there is no exception. Keeping the soil healthy at this time of the year will result in a quick turnaround from winter yellows. Low soil temperatures result in a few problems. The growth rate slows down, and in many areas where soil isn't draining, the weeds and moss appears. Take to the lawn with a pitchfork to aerate the soil. If there's any moss on the soil surface, it stops the buffalo runners from growing into one another and giving a really thick, beautiful lawn. Add to that, lots of shade, whether it's from trees or leaves, and lots of moisture hanging around, and it really adds to the problem. Buffalo runners are formed on the soil surface and lay over each other, while other varieties such as cooch form runners under the ground. After aerating, apply a very light top dressing of soil improver or fine compost. That's been formulated specially for lawns. Grab a rake or use your hands to fill in the holes. Use the back of the rake, trust me, it makes the job a whole lot easier. Growth rates of warm season grasses is totally related to soil temperature. And at this time of the year, it's the perfect time to hit it with a fertiliser. Now, as this temperature rises, it can take up the nutrients and you find the lawn will grow really well. Also, you're looking for one that's going to be specially formulated for buffalo lawns, and also it's got added iron. And what the iron's going to do is your best friend. It's gonna make the lawn look really deep green and increase its health and resistance to disease. Slow release formulations are the future of feeding plants in our climate. They release their nutrients gradually over time through moisture and temperature. So with a little bit of water and a higher soil temperature, the lawn definitely benefits. And there's a huge difference in releasing nutrients and dumping them. And some of our lesser quality formulations on the market are prone to dumping. And what happens? All the nutrients are available to the plant at once. And then they leach past the root zone to our waterways. Scott's Lawn Builder Buffalo Slow Release Fertiliser has a very low phosphorus level which means it can be used across the country without posing any risk to the waterways. When you get yourself the lawn builder, don't forget to get a spreader. Now there is a battery operated one, that's the deluxe model. It's called Scott's Wiz Spreader. It is so easy to use. But this one, well, they've both got the same features. They've got a handy lock switch so you don't waste it. And also a little gauge on the side so it tells you how much you can spread. Once we've got the soil right and the slow release applied, it's going to be a great idea to keep a liquid fertiliser regime. This is absorbed by the foliage so quickly and binds to stems and leaves, ensuring it doesn't wash off when it rains. Great for the spring season. 